Hello everyone, I am so glad that you've joined me for another edition of Song and Scripture, where we take just a few minutes to look at the biblical origins of one of the songs that we sing in our worship services here at Westbury Church of Christ. I'm Colin Elk, the worship minister here, and I am so grateful that you've chosen to join me today. Uh, we're going to look at another Getty Townend uh, compilation, composition today, uh, called By Faith. Uh, I love the Getty Town and songwriting duo. They write such uh, good songs, but they write such deep, spiritually true songs um, that are still able to, we're able to comprehend the meaning and sing the tune. Uh, and so I think they do that really, really well. Um, I have the lyrics of the song and an acapella recording of it linked in the description of this video. So if you would just take a little bit of time uh, to listen to the song if you're not familiar with it and to look over the lyrics because we're going to talk about them uh, in this video today. So if you know anything about the Bible, uh, you might know which passage of scripture this song comes from. By faith is a recurring phrase used in Hebrews 11, uh, the hall of faith or the hall of fame of faith. Uh, this is what the first two verses of that chapter say. Now faith is the reality of what is hoped for, the proof of what is not seen. For by this our ancestors were approved. Now you might think that the, these verses contain some contradictions. What we hope for is not often our reality, uh, and what we don't see uh, might not have any proof. Uh, and that has led many people over the years to discount God and his word. Uh, but for us, that's what we have built our lives on, the faith that even though God isn't seen, uh, he is who he says he is, and he does what he says he does. Uh, and we have that in common with the people that we read about in the Bible. The great heroes of faith that we find in Scripture built their lives on the same hope that we have, uh, which brings us back to Hebrews 11. The Hebrew writer spends this entire chapter talking about the faith of these people and how it justified them. I would encourage you to take some time to read the entire chapter. We don't actually have time to do that here, uh, but, to, but read it and read about some of these great people. So this song, By Faith, does a great job of encapsulating the message of this chapter. The first three verses in particular are based, are based upon it. By faith we see the hand of God in the light of creation's grand design, in the lives of those who prove his faithfulness, who walk by faith and not by sight. By faith our fathers roamed the earth with the power of his promise in their hearts, of a holy city built by God's own hand, a place where peace and justice reign. By faith the prophets saw a day when the longed-for Messiah would appear, with the power to break the chains of sin and death and rise triumphant from the grave. Now, we know the Messiah to be Jesus, who fulfilled the promise of the Old Testament. And so, those first three verses are really Hebrews 11 encapsulated, in short. Uh, but now the song shifts in its last two verses in the chorus and talks about the responsibility the church now has in that faith since we've seen the fulfillment of the promise. Here's the fourth verse. By faith the church was called to go in the power of the Spirit to the lost, to deliver captives and to preach good news in every corner of the earth. By faith this mountain shall be moved, and the power of the gospel shall prevail. For we know in Christ all things are possible for all who call upon his name. We will stand as children of the promise. We will fix our, our eyes on him, our soul's reward. Till the race is finished and the work is done, we will walk by faith and not by sight. Now these words lead us into the first few verses of the next chapter of Hebrews, chapter 12. Uh, and this is what it says, Therefore, because of our faith in God, since we also have such a large cloud of witnesses surrounding us, that's all those who came before us and all of those saints who are with us now, let us lay aside every hindrance and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that lies before us, keeping our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So this weekend, I would like you to take just a little bit of time to consider those who walked before us in faith, what they went through because of it. Uh, it totally and completely changed their lives, their encounters with Jesus and the hope that they had in him. And we have to allow God to change our lives through faith too, uh, to be willing to lay everything else down 
for Jesus as we keep our eyes on him, no matter the cost. And we see in the lives of these people, sometimes it costs them a lot. But at the end, the reward uh, in the relationship that they had with him was much greater than whatever they lost. So join us on Sunday morning here at Westbury as we continue this conversation. Our doors will be open and our service will begin at 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. You can also join us online on Facebook or on YouTube. So whatever you choose to do, please stay safe this weekend and God bless you.